Rusa, I think Nick is, he's an amazing curator. And everything that he does, there's a consistency and a story in it. When you look at his outfit, the way that he dresses, you're seeing something that brings together a medieval man, but you're also seeing something that brings together a modern man. It's the way he wears his clothes is, is the way no one else wears his clothes. The best part of when you look at Mr. Worcester's outfit is uh, when you look at Mr. Worcester's wardrobe, is always some fine detail within the whole structure of the piece that really makes it special. I'm from Salina, Kansas, which if you look at the map of the United States, Kansas is right in the center, and Salina is right in the center of Kansas. Um, it was, you know, it is a place that has 50,000 people, so it's a small town. When I was a kid, I didn't play war or house, or I played store. I would take all my parents' clothes and put them in the living room floor, and I had a cash register, and I played store. Um, so it was obvious that there was something different about me to the rest of my family. And when I was 16 years old, I started working at a clothing store, the nicest clothing store in Salina, which is the name of the town. Um, and that's how it started. It just started like that. I, I never know what I'm going to wear until I jump in the shower. And, you know, it usually, it could revolve like today. It revolved around the shoes. I, I, these are the shoes that I designed with Lafoe in New York, and I, I knew that I wanted to wear them, so I thought, okay, what will work on top? Some days it's a jacket. Maybe it's a new jacket, or maybe it's an old jacket that I haven't worn in a long time, so I think, okay, what could I wear with that? So it becomes like a little bit of a puzzle to figure out. Women's, I think, is about fashion. I think fashion is very important to a woman. And being fashionable is, is kind of the essence of what being a woman is about. With men, I think it's a little bit the opposite. I think with men, it's about finding a way to, to dress, a sort of a, a blueprint that you can follow. Um, so, for example, I've always been what most people would call preppy. You know, it's like, to me, that's, I understand that. I love Rick Owens. I love something very avant-garde. But it doesn't really fit me. It doesn't fit my body type. It doesn't really fit my life. Nick Wooster, he's a free person. He celebrates individuality. He definitely knows how to be able to translate his own experiences, his own feelings, his own emotions into the way he dresses. Uh, uh, what can I say about Nick? Nick is uh, uh, an amazing guy. And, and uh, even more than his style, he's a really incredible person, I think. I always say I'm a retailer. I would like to open a store one day. Um, I would also like to develop product, brand, you know, maybe work with a brand or develop my own brand. When I was young, I was always, I had too much to learn. And I feel like now that I'm 51 years old, I guess I've, I'm old enough to be able to do something on my own. So we'll see. But I work with some amazing people. Project has been phenomenal. Guilt has been phenomenal. And you know, you, I'm so thrilled to be working with United Arrows. Hopefully I can continue these collaborations in a more meaningful, a bigger way.